Not bad. You're still the best sheriff in the game. Oh, thank you. No problem. I know, you're insane. Thank you, bro. I'm like right there, though. You are like right yeah. there. I just don't use it too often. All right. Next. All right, next. Uh, back to Demon 1. I think this is map point. Can someone make a montage? You are feeding I'll his ego you. right now. I hope <laughs> everyone I ride knows. So, someone make a montage. Yeah, I'll pay you big money. Right now. This is terrible. Try play a three. Looks for the next target. Oh, it's cool. Oh, my. Ooh. This guy is something else. That's what you did? Can you watch it? Jesus. Okay, this was terrible. Give me TV. Okay, I got you. Smoking. We're trying so hard to get Like, we I literally did shoot everything. Him. Okay, I need I everyone to kill I was it's not, I was, my I was. Stop talking. <laughs> stop speaking. You guys did too much. My computer had 10 FPS because there's <laughs> the computers are shit. There was too much UTO going on and then I dropped to 10 frames. That's my excuse, which is true. Too much UTO. Computer couldn't handle it. I won't throw my dick. Whole computer lag. Stop throwing flash. Yep, our What is there? Let's look. Nothing. Nothing. One, <laughs> oh, there's no. Not even blind. Who he said was, he was blind? He was full blind. I, my scope was on him the whole time. All right, go next. I could have killed him like three times. Go next. All right, we got two more. Uh, this is to boost you. We're gonna go to somebody different. Nice. The three piece. This. Oh, this. I got you. Oh my! What? That's a crazy one. That is, oh, bye bye. Stunning. You think you some, some of the dumbest thrifty rounds I've ever seen. Today. In the best way. Did you say dumbest? Yeah. Dumbest. That's all. That's all skill. Dude, that is a Mike nice shot. That's a nice. Good. That's all you, bro. Wait, that did. Um, this gave me some confidence. I'm not gonna lie. That's all that needs to be said. It was a nice shot. All right, we got one more, and this one is coming from Demon One once again. Focus up, yeah. Demon One, get locked in. I'm watching. I can't think of another time that's happened. That was four rounds starting off a map like this. They're just swinging into you. I know. What? Yeah, just a three k. I mean, good job, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. One by one. All right. Someone double swing me. Let's head to the pre-submitted questions now. All right. Um, starting off with uh, Demon One. Um, this is from Sports Key to Snay. This was the first time you have played Astra for your team. How was the experience switching from an aggressive role like Jet to a more passive one for the series? Um, well, I know how to play Brimstone. Controller is not that different. I can play passive. I can play aggressive. Nothing too much to he's, it. He's perfect. There you go. What he said. Okay. Bustio, also coming from Snay from Sports Kita. You've expressed quite a few thoughts on Chinese Valorant in the past. Would you say that your opinions have changed today after facing Edward Gaming? No. Um, we had I they are really good for uh Chinese team, but um I don't know. They're not very good to be honest. Hong Kong was a disappointment. Okay. We'll go next to Potter. Um, this is from the Valorant competitive community. In your match on Bind versus Foot earlier in the tournament, we saw Demon 1 play Chamber and Bustio play Brim. Today on Split, we saw Bustio on Chamber and Demon 1 on Astra. Could you talk about the differences between Bustio's Chamber and Demon 1's Chamber? Is there a reason you wanted Bustio on Chamber for Split Can specifically? I well, I just didn't want to op. I hate op. Yeah. I'm not even an op. After, just a put me week, on the rifle. after a week of scrims where this kid kept not buying an op, it was a pretty easy decision. I hate oping. Yeah. Not even an oper. And I've been oping a lot on KJ, so we were just like, let me play a uh, chamber and I'll just op every run. Yeah, it was an easy decision. Um, Boosie was a chamber main for a year and a half. Um, during the whole chamber meta, he loves oping. Prior to that, he was a jet main, constantly oping. So definitely knew what he was capable of, and it was an easy decision for us. Thank you. Um, this is to Ethan and Potter, also from the competitive community. Yoru hasn't been seen a lot in VCT, and it's primarily been on Bind as of late. Uh, what was the reasoning behind the pick on Pearl? Was it primarily because of Ethan's ability on the agent and wanting to run a new comp to counter EDG, or was it something about the map layout itself that you thought had potential? Sorry, was this question to me? Uh, Ethan or Potter? Yeah. I'll, I'll take it, Ethan. Thank you. <laughs> um, it was actually, we've been cooking this Yoru for like over a year almost. Uh, it was it, it happened back in November, even pre-Brazil. Asked the whole squad, who, who fancies Yoru? Um, just the type of plays that you can do and the misdirection that you can play with Yoru and having such an aggressive player in Jogimo and also Bustio. These two 
always run it down and they're ride or die for each other. Having a Yoru that's going to be able to just TP in on top of that and have a double dive was really exciting. And especially because these group of guys could make it happen. Um, our scrims looked deadly with that combo as well. Um, and so coming into this tournament, we knew coming into straight into playoffs, it would be a nice pocket pick um, to come out on. So we've been putting a lot of work on that composition. Thank you, Potter. We're going to stick with you for now. Uh, this is coming to Ganesh from Strafe. Um, split was a hard battle with EG only missing by an inch. What did you tell your boys so that they could dominate Ascent to force a third map? Mm, I told them to start having fun. Um, I, I think the, the first eight rounds was just, I always say this to the guys, but it was unlucky. I mean, starting from pistol, we were up 5v4. First gun round, we were up 4v3. So many times we had the man advantage. Um, EDG did a fantastic job cutting noise and re-execing on us. Um, oftentimes we weren't ready for it, but honestly, for these guys, it was just a matter of loosening up. We were a little bit stale in the beginning. We were kind of shying away from the fights. So during that pause, it was just, Hey, I, I think Max initiated it. Tony then said it to me in the, uh, during the matches, Max was like, Hey, my ace. And I'm like, you know what? These guys always come like that. We need some more of these comps. We need these guys to loosen up and, uh, have some more fun. So that, that, that was kind of our conversation. Thank you. We'll now open up the floor for any questions from remote, remote or on-site media. Please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question. We're going to start with uh, in the room with Nick Geraci. Nick? Hi there. Thanks for your time. My question is for Coach Potter. How would you describe uh, EDG's style of play and what adjustments were made to win the series after they started strong in map one? You know, EDG have been doing a great job this whole tournament. They've shown different looks each match um, from the first one uh, to this being their fourth. Um, coming into this series, we were definitely expecting constant fights. We were expecting constant aggression. Um, but like we said, like I said, EDG did a good job cutting noise. They were not aggressive in the first 10 seconds. That kind of threw us off a little bit with our timings and when we wanted to fight. Um, and it took us an entire map to get kind of comfortable on our feet. But going into Ascent being that second map for us, again, it's just a, a, a map that we really shine on in the mid-rounding. Um, I think most teams do. The map kind of demands you to do that. So for us, the more we're talking and the more we're teeing each other up, we tend to succeed. So Ascent being that second map was pretty key for us. Thank you. Thanks. We'll stick it with the, with the room. Commend if you want to go next. I have a question for Demon1. I'm just curious, uh, do you prefer humble type players or trash talk slash ego type players? I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. We'll go to Ganesh at Strafe. Hi, this is to <clears throat> Potter. Uh, was there a reason you switched up comms first on split and then on pull? Pardon? Uh, was there a reason you switched up comms? Do you think you do, do the pre did previous comms compositions miss something? Uh, it's just yeah you, you know to... yeah go on go on, sorry. on split um you know we had the double dive for a long time we made that kind of ours we stole it from loud and we made it even better um we're pretty proud of that but coming into this tournament we really wanted to figure out how to make chamber a thing um and we've been working hard on that we didn't show the best start um but we finished strong so i think uh still for split you know, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the changes that we made, but um, I think there's still a lot to be unlocked. So, mm -hmm. not too disappointed. Yeah. About the pearl comp, we have we saw you oh, back and lock in, lock in. Then then why did you change it now? Because obviously mm -hmm. in this tournament itself, you see like you played two map to yeah. to pearl twice with a different comp. Now why did you bring back Yoru? Well, our attack was just so doo doo. Um, I think our defense was fantastic. We had nine three half uh, twice, um, and then on the attack side, we just couldn't find um, the gaps. And Yoru really yeah. uh, enables that. Yoru really uh, puts a lot of pressure on the defenders, and Ethan does a fantastic job at that. So we knew we needed a little bit of an edge on the attack side, um, and so that's what we worked on. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Jeremy from Deserto next. Hi, congrats on the win. Um, so this question is for all of you. Um, so your next opponent is DRX, another APAC team. Um, how are you guys feeling going up another APAC team? I'm a draw. I want to hear Jonathan. You go. You go, Jonathan. You go. 
I mean, I wish they had Foxy Nine, but I mean, I'll play against Zest again, so that's it for me. Go ahead. Tom? Uh, I mean, for me, I've always had a lot of respect for DRX for myself since I'm also half Korean. And I'm also good friends with a couple of people on that team. So I think it's going to be fun to play them again and beat them. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Razor. Hi, folks. This is a question coming from the Valorant competitive community um, to Potter. Um, you guys have a separate roster with EG players that you guys scrim against a lot. How much of this win on Pearl is thanks to them? Um, it, maybe if you could talk a little bit more about the dynamic of having such a large team, large team and um, having them scrimmed with each other. Yeah, uh, definitely a huge shout out to our reserve team. Scrims have been pretty tough to come by. Um, and over the last couple of weeks, especially having um, having those guys be so dedicated and ready to drill against and scrim whenever we, we need and figuring out our own gaps has been quite the luxury for sure. Um, you know, for us as well, we, we didn't scrim Yoru against anyone else but the reserve team. So stuff like that has been really fun. Um, the kind of mind games that we're able to do has been fantastic. And especially for these guys, there's like this bit of competitiveness um, between each other. Like they all want to be better than each other and they all want to have better rounds than each other and things like this. So having just that big group that kind of um, motivates each other to just keep being better has been really fun to watch this year. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Nerditude, Antonio. Did you just lower your Thank, you. Th thank you so much. <clears throat> um, your playing, this is, for, uh, sorry, this is a question for Ethan. Um, you are playing local. Most of the public support EG. Do you think this is a boo for the team? Um, yeah, I think so. I think the crowd is always like a pretty big buff. I think uh, in Tokyo, they always cheered for honestly like both teams. So as long as you were winning like cool rounds or just making good plays, it was like a huge buff. But um, here it's definitely different. Um, obviously, it's like an NA buff, so it's uh, it's definitely helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are there any more questions for EG, either online or in the room? EG, thank you so much for taking the time to speak thank with you. us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you.